Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Gaming on Caffeine. My name is Isaac, and we're back playing some Crash Landing for episode 22. Now, last episode, we set up this guy over here, this little automated soul sand production system. And uh, if we have a look into our chest, we're doing pretty well. We've got over four stacks of, of soul sand right now, and I think the current bottleneck uh, is actually our sand production. We're, that's the only thing slowing us down right now. We have unlimited water, unlimited water being pumped into these barrels, and pretty much unlimited of everything else apart from the sand that we need. And as you can see, I've tried to make it look a little bit nicer by adding these uh, oak covers all around sort of thing and, and try to make it just look a little a little bit more even because uh, even though it's really nice and really productive it is a bit of an eyesore if you look at it from uh, from the top there so uh, the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to grab a stack of this soul sand and i'm going to go stick it in the autonomous activator over here because pretty much all of the stuff we need soul sand for is got by sifting it we get the nether what they got the nether quartz and we get the nether wart as well as gas tears and i think some little pieces of ardite and cobalt as well that we can use to make some super powerful uh, tinkers tools uh, if we ever decide to upgrade from obsidian so i'm gonna let that do that and i think we need about four nether warts in order to get started with the speed upgrades for our pneumatic craft stuff so i'm gonna leave that doing that over there and what i'm gonna do in the meantime is i'm gonna try and knock out another quest because I want to lock it, I want to get to an AE system. I have had so many people, especially over the last couple of episodes, telling me how bad the organizational systems in these chests are, and they are 100% right. These chests are just so badly organized, it is unreal. We've got 44 flipping redstone all there, each of which can be turned into six flipping redstone, and then that, that's a lot of redstone we've got right there. But these are all so badly organized, we really need an AE system, so that it's just like all in one place, we can just search through it, we don't have to run around searching through like the 8,000 chests we've got on site, trying to to get all our stuff it's, it's it's a mess so what i'm going to do to begin with anyway is i'm going to look in the quest book and we are going to try and do this quest here the advanced machine quests uh why you might ask well a it unlocks the quest that looks like it's going to teach us to do more a stuff and b if we have a look at what we need to make we need an induction smelter and a magma crucible and if we have a look at what we need for uh, an ME controller, which is the heart of an AE system, uh, it's actually pretty expensive. So this stuff is all fine. We can make a Flux crystal once we've got enough nether quartz. The hard part comes with the advanced processor, because this thing requires some fluxed electron blend, which requires a fluid transposer, which requires um, some electron blend, which would be easier to make if we had an induction smelter, and a bunch of other stuff. It's just It becomes a real flipping pain. We also need these things these flux electrum ingots which are made in an induction smelter as well so we kind of need these machines in order to get stuff we also need destabilized redstone in order to make most of this stuff and you get de destabilized redstone using a magma crucible so you can see why we need these things all right the first thing on the list is an induction furnace and i'm pretty sure uh, i have everything we need to make it so i will make two of those one for the magma crucible one for the induction furnace i think we have almost everything we need to make it apart from the glass but we have that there let's go like boom oh, we gotta make these by hand haven't we because they don't like to stack okay environ the corners like so electrum at the top and bottom Glasses aside, gets us machining, machine frames. Nice. So we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll make one of these. And then we will go... Boom. Nice. Induction furnace, done. Next thing on the list is a magma crucible. And this thing is a little bit harder because this guy here requires two lots of nether bricks, which is not too bad because we do have a way of making nether bricks, which is smelting nether brick, which can be made by smelting netherrack, which can be made, for those who remember, by putting four cobblestone, which we seemingly don't have in here. Oh, there we go. By putting four cobblestone into a the, the barrel up here and then adding a little piece of redstone gets us netherrack. So... Let's head on up here. Let's throw in four of you. And what we should see is I'll turn into lava. We can then make another bucket to move that lava to our stone barrel. And then if we add a little bit of redstone to that barrel as well, we should get a piece of netherrack. So we're going to have to do that uh, eight times, which is a bit of a pain. It's uh, not the world's fastest way of getting stuff, but it works. Uh, I think we could also actually, if we wanted to make a lava generator. Let's have a look. Is there a hmm, lava fabricator? Now that's... Mm, hmm. That's not too bad. We don't have a way of making slime balls, but I think they are, like, replaceable with uh, rubber from Mine Factory Reloaded, quite possibly. Um, is that true? Am I am I fabricating things there? It might be true. We've got pink slime. We've got... Let me try that. Let me try using um, MFR rubber and a blaze powder and see if that works. Do we have any rubber? Because if that does work, that's pretty flipping cool. Let's grab, like, some of you. Let's go outside and let's grab some blaze. I haven't actually tried this, so I have no idea if this is going to work. But if we'll grab one of you and one of you, we'll get rid of that. 
Does this work? No. <laughs> that would have been nice, but it doesn't. Uh, we could get congealed blood. Oh, jeez. Come on. Stop. St just. You can't hit me. You can't. It's not, it's not possible. You can't because I'm, I'm hungry, but still. Go away. <laughs> no one wants you here. All right. So he's dead, which is good. So what I think I'm going to do, guys, is I think I'm going to go away. I'm going to make eight more of those uh, nether bricks over there. I'm going to wait for a bunch of the soul sand to produce itself uh, or to sift through itself. I'm going to take down that flipping bridge over there, which is letting all these mobs in. And I'll be back in a second once I... Oh, jeez. Once I have everything we need to continue on with this stuff. Go away, go away, go away, go away. There we go. Safety. <laughs> Safety. Okay, yeah. I'm going to go do that, guys. I'll be back in a second. And last little bit of lava into the stone barrel with a little bit of redstone. Gets us our final piece of netherrack. Good stuff. And we can go and smelt this up to make us nether brick. And I think with that, we should be pretty much good to go on the magma crucible. So we will throw you in there. While that's smelting up, let's go have a look how our soul sand's doing. Uh, we actually got pretty lucky. I tried this in a test world, like tried sifting through a bunch of soul sand, uh, just to see how often we got nether wart. And we've actually got five nether wart already, which is pretty cool. Usually, it took me like a stack to get like three last time, but it seems to be doing quite well. So I'm not going to complain. I'll take it. We've got five nether wart. Good stuff. Uh, we'll take all of you. Uh, I think we actually, I don't think we quite need five, but we'll, we'll take it anyway. I think we need maybe three. But uh, we'll see, we'll see. So let's go in here, let's grab our nether brick, let's turn that into nether bricks. And then let's see, magma crucible, do we have everything we need? You, we need one of you. That's easy enough. We need one of you. And then finally, we need one of you. No, not going to work. Wow. <laughs> okay, what are we missing? We have... Uh, I think everything? What do we, uh... No, yeah, we do have everything. There we go. Magma Crucible. Done. Nice. So we'll head into the quest book, and we will claim our rewards for these guys. We're almost halfway through there now, which is pretty cool. Unclaimed rewards. Now, we get to choose between some Fluxed Electrum Blend, some Enderium Blend, some Cryothium Dust, or some Pyrothium Dust. I'm actually not going to pick this yet. I'm not going to claim this reward, because I'm not sure which one of these we're going to need more of. I know we need a lot of Fluxed Electrum, but I also know we're going to need a lot of Enderium if we wanted to get maybe like an, an Autonomous Activator going. Not an Autonomous Activator. Uh, an Aquas Accumulator going, or something like that. And then also Pyrothium does can be quite useful for some things and uh, stuff like that. I think we might end up going with the Fluxed Electrum Blend, but I'm not too sure just yet. I think I'm going to put my machines down over here, like so. I think I'm going to set up like a little line of maybe five machines over here, maybe another pulverizer, maybe an a normal furnace, uh, just so I have a nice little set of machines that I can use all the time instead of having to go and like interrupt my uh, automated process. Because if I want to go pulverize like all that redstone, I've got to come over here, I've got to take out a bunch of flipping like gravel or sand or something. I've got to go and wait... I put it in, wait for it to finish, put the other stuff back in, and then I end up with flipping inventories full of gravel, and it's just, it's a bit of a pain. So I'd like to have a little, it's my off time, what? I think this guy is like drinking water again. He is, he's drinking the water. Stop, stop, stop it. Are you, are you really that full? Wow, he is, okay, so this guy's full, we can't actually, uh, he, he's just going to sit there and drink the water because the thing's full. Uh, that might not be a good idea, because I think when he drinks the water, we actually lose the bottle, we do. It's fine, it's fine, we don't, we've got unlimited water right now, it's it's okay. So yeah, I'd like to get a little nice lineup of machines going here, and we do have a Leadstone Energy Conduit going underneath here to get to the, uh, 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 what's it called, the Fluid Transposer anyway, so getting power to these guys shouldn't be too big of a deal. So now we've got that going, the next thing we need to do is, is focus on the upgrade. So we need to get ourselves some AE stuff, which means an AE controller and an ME drive. And basically, as you've seen, everything that we need to make that is machine-based, even all the AE stuff, requires us to go through pneumatic craft. And in order to do that, I would like to either I would like to A, automate and B, speed up the production of all our pneumatic craft stuff. And to do that, we need some upgrades. So if we go to the under pressure section again and we go down to the bottom, upgraded, we can make a machine upgrade speed, item life, and security and we get some extra ones as well maybe two more speeds which would be very nice indeed so machine item life and security are actually not that hard if i type in upgrade um security is just obsidian uh, a safety valve and lapis safety valves we made before they're really easy and then item life is just apples lapis and a clock which is gold and redstone i actually think i have everything I need to make all of this stuff. So let's grab 12 of you because we do need four for the speed upgrade as well. And then let's grab four apples. And I think 
we pretty much have everything we need. I'll leave that in there, actually. <laughs> we're just using our... Uh, we've got so little space in chests now. We're using our flipping crafting stations as, as storage. All right, let's go ahead and make ourselves one of these. Uh, what are we missing? We've got the four obsidian. We do not have a safety valve. Okay. Do we have a normal pressure tube? It's okay if we don't, because I think we have some spare stuffs. So we do. Okay. Let's make one of you. Or a set of you, should I say. Let's put this back. And I'll put these away as well. Don't need those just yet. And then what do we need? We need, like, um, some more gold, maybe. Yeah, we need some more gold. We need one more of you. Uh, what are we low on? Is it food or heat stroke? Okay. I'm coming. Water. Now. That's fine. Okay. Whew. Done. All right. <laughs> we should be able to walk normally again in a second. So we've got enough to make this guy here. We do have the stuff to make a lever as well, which is nice. We'll take one of you. We'll put the lead away. Why not? Lever done. Do we need one or two levers? I uh, forget. Two levers. Okay. That's fine. We have the stuff to make two levers. So, two. Do these stack? They do. And... Boom. And... Boom. Nice. So, we got our security upgrade done. I'm just going to dump some stuff in here for now. Because flipping this stick's annoying the crap out of me. Go away. I don't want the stick. And then this guy over here should be even easier. You done. And then you done. Nice. So that's done. They are the two, probably the easiest two upgrades you will ever make. Uh, and now it comes to the speed upgrade, which I think has been like inflated in its difficulty. I don't think it's actually usually this hard to make. But it requires four potions of swiftness and a cake and four lapis now the cake not too big of a deal we've got we've got a ton of eggs back in the uh, the chest where we've been sifting through all the dust we have a bunch of wheat and we have the uh, we have the capability of getting sugar now as well so we're not that's not too big of a problem the problem arises with the potions of swiftness because we need a a brewing stand and b awkward potions we now have the nether wart so awkward potions are not a deal are not a big deal at all but the problem is we need a brewing stand and a brewing stand requires a blaze rod now we could try going to the nether but i've been informed that the nether has nothing in it so that's kind of pointless however there is a very nice way for us to get blaze powder or blaze rods even uh, using ex nihilo that uh, i completely forgot about and i actually had to go look up because i was like how 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 are we going to get blaze rods but it turns out we can use an angry doll if you throw an angry doll into a barrel of lava and wait like flipping 10,000 minutes because it takes quite a while you will get yourself a blaze which we can then kill with our flipping sword to uh, to get ourselves some blaze rods okay so we need four blaze powder a nether wart a precious doll two glowstone and a redstone the precious doll itself is made using uh, an emerald or a diamond and then five uh, porcelain clay now to make porcelain clay we need normal clay and some bone meal so we'll take all of you We'll take some of you, and we'll make ourselves some of you. Now, in terms of whether or not to use a diamond or an emerald, we do have more emeralds than we have diamonds at the moment. Like, we have three diamonds, and uh, actually, no, we have exactly the same. Um, I'm going to take an emerald. I'm going to take a diamond, because we have more use for emeralds at the minute. We kind of wanted to get that, um, that villager made, and uh, there's also a bunch of other stuff as well that require emeralds, whereas I haven't actually found that much that requires diamonds as of yet, so... We will do this, get this guy, and then I think we almost have everything we need to make the other guy, just some more blaze powder. Look at that amazing face, just smiling at you there. <laughs> All right, let's make ourselves an angry doll. Boom. Glowstone, we need some glowstone. And then we should be pretty much good to go. We'll take two of you, and we will see what happens. We have some cobblestone as we do. Let's make you done and now we need to head over here very slowly because we're low on food not even useful anymore that's fine so we will throw some more cobblestone in here and then once that's done we will throw the lava into here add the angry doll wait a few seconds it takes i think about 10 20 seconds for the for the blaze to spawn and then we will attack it with our obsidian rapier and just hope and pray that we get ourselves a blaze rod once we do we can make ourselves a brewing stand and we can start to brew ourselves some uh, some potions of swiftness which we can then use to make the speed upgrades which we can then use to speed up all of the stuff that we have which is pretty flipping cool
So we're going to move the lava into the barrel. We're going to right click with the angry doll. And then thanks to Whale at the top there, we can now see how long it takes to make a blaze. Uh, I remember in Agrarian Skies I did this and I, I waited like five seconds because I'm really impatient. And I just broke the barrel. I was like, forget it. I'm done. And I fully like wasted an angry doll. But here we go. We just got to wait until that reaches 100 and we will have our blaze. We're not the best of, uh, of armada, but hopefully our uh, oh, for, for attack <laughs> rapier will be, will be enough to kill it. What else do we have on this thing? Um... Reinforced one, brilliant. That'll be that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Okay, here we go. 97, 98, 99. Oh, there he is. There he is. There he is. Okay, easiest players in the world. <laughs> that was that was insanely easy. Like, okay, that was probably the easiest players I've ever fought. All right, let's. <laughs> okay, let's put that there. Let's go like so, and boom, brewing stand. Nice. So we'll throw this guy down. That was really easy. We'll throw this down over here. We will grab ourselves some bottles of water. The nice thing is we can just fill them up using this. Like so. And we need four potions, which is a bit of a pain because you can only do three at a time in here. But we'll go you, you, and you. Turn them into awkward potions using our nether wart. And then we don't have any sugar just yet. So let's head on over here and grab some. We should probably eat some toast first because we is very hungry. I would also like to set up some sort of automated farm for the uh, the pneumatic craft stuff as well, but it's going to be a bit of a pain because you got to drop them on the floor in order for things to work. We could, uh, I don't know, I'm I'm hmm, I'm wondering if the MFR machines would work at harvesting them or or not, and then we could probably use like dispensers, I guess, like have items to extend them to dispensers and just shoot them out. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't be like the biggest time; we'd be able to cover all of it, but it'd work a little bit, maybe, would it? I don't know. Anyway, this thing should be done. It is. We can turn this into sugar. We're going to need two pieces, at least. We'll do that. We will grab all three of you. We'll do one more of these. Yeah, let's do one more of these. And then we should be pretty much good to go to make the speed upgrade. We have, I think, everything else. Um, the cows we can use to get the the milk. The wheat we've already got. Eggs we've already got. Sugar we can get again. We've got loads of stuff over there just waiting for us. I think we are pretty much good to go. What do we need to... How do we make this milk? Ah, I think I might use fresh milk. Because I think the um, the cows actually take a while in between milking sessions. So I think actually we have to wait a little while in between. So let's go like that, like that, give it some sugar. While that's doing that, let's go grab ourselves three wheat. Actually, we should probably just do that. There we go. Uh, by the way, just right click. It'll just harvest it and replant it instantly, which is just a lot faster. Somebody in the comment section pointed that out to me. Thanks uh, in advance there. We'll throw you in there. We've got our wheat. We can get our egg from this chest over here. I think we've got like almost two stacks of eggs now. Uh, by the way, eggs do only stack in 16 though, so just bear that in mind. We've got that. Let's grab ourselves a bucket of milk. Give me some, give me some milk. There we go. <laughs> Let's craft that into fresh milk. And then sugar is not too hard. We'll just do this. Boom. Done. Do we have the thing to make a cake? Uh, we do. Let's quickly just grab these guys. You can go ahead and do that. And let's see. Do we have what it takes to make a cake? Maybe. Sugar. And an egg. No, it doesn't work. Ah, oh, it, it, it looked like it worked. It says it works. Oh, we need. Oh, we need to use flour for that. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, we need a pester and mortal. Let's go. Uh, let's go find this guy. Where where have we hidden him? If we do that, then we can use our fresh milk, and it's just a lot easier. Where are you hiding? This again is just a flipping massive. Look! Look how bad our system of organization is. It is. It is very bad. <laughs> All right, we'll throw you in there. We'll throw you in there. Boom. Three along the bottom. Sugar either side. Not bones. Sugar either side. Eggs in the middle. And then fresh milk at the top. And boom. We got a cake. Nice. So we can then combine this guy with the potions of swiftness. And the conveniently already got four lapis. And we should be pretty much good to go. Let's grab this guy. Let's slow him into here. And we finally have what it takes to make ourselves 
a machine upgrade of speed. Nice. So we can head into here and we can claim one of these rewards. Again, I'm not going to pick one just yet because I'm not sure which one we're going to need the most. I think it might end up being a machine upgrade of speed. But with that, guys, we are almost 100% complete on the first two. We're almost halfway there on the second two. Uh, this third one's actually going to be fairly easy once we get all the stuff. We've probably got enough mob essence to complete them all now, which is pretty flipping awesome. And then finally, we can get back to the moon uh, eventually, or hopefully, once we finish some of these uh, technological revolutionary stuffs. So, uh, yeah, with that, guys, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like. Like, and I will see you guys next time and I promise we'll get an ME system up soon. I promise. I promise we will. Bye.